Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zedir Pro Gamer and today I'm gonna be teaching you the basics of a that pack. So most probably you must you sh oh, at least watch some of my videos. Today I'm gonna explain the basic values of that pack and what you need to know about them. So let's say you were doing a that pack and you wanted to add new effects, let's say. You want to add some like Minecraft but creeper drop high to loot or changing the loot drop and when you hold the sword from a creeper it gives you effects. Well I'm gonna teach you some of that. As most probably I'm gonna be linking my Minecraft client account in the description down below so you can at least see what I've been doing and so you can learn with me how to do it. So let's say you have your data pack ready and you need just to refill and you want to add more stuff. Let me just very quickly gather the example data pack. So we go to, I think here, yeah, here, paste it. Now, you do remember that we have the pack.mc meta. So the pack.mc meta actually identifies the file type. See, the seven is actually the type of file, you see, pack format and number. But if we go here, you're going to see the description. We already know these details, but we need to continue on. You're going to see Minecraft, and here we have the loot drops. But what if I tell you you can easily do that instead of doing all of this? Look, we have Minecraft and we can right click and make our own namespace. So a namespace, you really need to memorize that and shouldn't be capital, just be small letters, no numbers, no special items. Seriously, like this. Uh, let's say I'm going to name it example. So now Minecraft knows that we ha we're adding a new namespace. But if you haven't identified that, so we go to Minecraft, we're going to take the old recipe here, let's paste it here. Now, we have this, we're supposed to, to have it of course. Now, we're going to do to new, of course we're going to new, and we're going to hear white functions. Later on, we're going to fill the details, but before that, we're going to go to Minecraft, and white instead of functions, tags. And from tags, write functions inside that file. So functions, you go in and you have to fill a two JSON files. So we have the thing named as take and load. So the take, I think everyone take it 20 seconds or vice versa. I seriously kind of, you know, kind of, uh, it's not for me, not gonna lie, but still get the idea. We have the take and the load. The load occurs only when loading the serve, the data pack and the take. Everything in the thick file that we're gonna write, it's gonna keep repeating itself until you know, until it's over. So, for example, let me show you my some of the new files that I've coded and uploaded. Let's say, let's say I want to show you the very cool sword effects I have coded myself. So, if you go to very cool sword, you can see data, Minecraft tags, functions, and these two files, tick and load. See. It's really useful when you want to do the same idea. So let's go back to the example data pack, data example. I mean here, of course, Minecraft, loot table or tag, sorry, functions and paste it in. I'm, don't worry, I'm going to just tell you how to write it. So you see, we have these two curly brackets saying that values and sword load. So look, if you say, I think it doesn't appear. Okay. So if you actually want to write here something and we leave it empty. You see, we have the namespace and the name, an item, block, or function. See? So our namespace was, as I do remember, it was example. So let's write example. Now, we need to know, we want to make the game know that we're dealing with example, which is our namespace. So let's say you want to do uh, something in example, but you don't know how to do it. You can just write anything like load. And don't worry, Minecraft is just going to search through the namespace less than seconds and find the load file. So here we can name it example load. We can close this and now go to the tick.json. So go into the tick.json. We're going to change as well the sword because that was the old namespace. We're going to name it example tick. So they're going to know that we're dealing with this example tick and we want to activate it in the game. We might, we have to close this and now we go back to example. Okay, we go to functions and now here's the hard, is the easiest part, I'm not gonna lie. 
it could be easy for you hard it doesn't matter making you find name it tech dot mc function like that change it and we need another one named as load dot mc function so load load dot mc function done so now they know that we're dealing with the mc function mc function in a nutshell it's like the function command in minecraft so if we write here dash give you're gonna see just does the minecraft thing dash give everything of minecraft which kind of amazing so let's say you're gonna now throughout this let's say you want to give effects to someone so it's simple all you have to write is the command in this case execute now we write at usually adds for the entity at all players write the nbt tag of course nbt tag equal to and now we write capital s selected and we continue on with it here equals to selected i wrote it oh, oh wait sorry just going on something we're just going on here selected item see you're gonna see selected item type of compound i i in it it doesn't matter i'm gonna go with selected item and we do another one you continue on the code of course we do this and now brackets we write id we do that and now we specify the id we write minecraft netherite let's say netherite you can choose whatever you want any item in minecraft then i'm gonna choose the netherite sword and that's it you're gonna see what's now okay now we we specify to minecraft that execute this command whenever at all players has this nbt tag and the nbt tag the selected item the item in hand and the item called as minecraft netherite sword so we go to run effect give at s not a so so the only user who has this sword only may function with it see and right now we can add whatever we want let's say i want to give him strength we we can add one second and the effect the amplifier for the effect and we can write true or false it doesn't matter it shows uh you know effect now you save it you can add this as well you can add even more particles if we do enter you can change the only effect you don't have to change the rest you can change only the one write particle particle and you might change anything i suggest using which which is really amazing you can do that you can change whatever you want let's say um, we add the number which is 0.2 so we can identify the location of the item so you see this sign estimated it's usually goes to the player exactly on the player where the player is standing i want it to be a bit higher where the block is so the effect can look like coming from the person or the sword so let's add 0.22 or 0.2 now these twos are like the speed the fat and the speed of the thing the amount of particles that thing you get the idea see uh, align the vector to the block or region or see you gonna see that it doesn't matter actually i'm just gonna keep it the same now we close the file we close this we copy the file of the data pack to ensure if it's working or not let's test it out i usually test it by creating a new word to see the availability and see if it actually reads see and in this case it's red later on i'm gonna show you how to change the cobblestone icon with the impact the mc meta with the icon of course let's say i'm gonna allow cheats creative and let's create the word so as you see minecraft finally launched good for that let's now test that out back of course we can test it by automatically seeing the sword but i won't doing that i won't be doing that i'm gonna do the command data pack and what list you're gonna see if you saw your file dash example then no congratulations the data pack is enabled and it is successful now we gotta check out if the commands are gonna read we can do that by going to functions see we have the minecraft and the example load 
That's amazing. That's just amazing. That assures that still they can read our file. That's good. Now, as we selected, we wrote netherite sword. So we need to check the netherite sword here. Let's run netherite. Let's keep it here. If our if we wrote it correct, then we should gain the effect and see the particles. Oh. Well, I see the particles. And that assures the fact that we it actually worked. Oops. See? When you remove it, the particles are gone. But when you have them... Oh, this looks amazing. It works. Now, for some reason, they haven't actually read our, you know, the load. So let's go to functions and let's go to tech and let's check it out. Let's remove the false, sorry. And let's make it here at A. Done. Save it. You can simply now just go to the Minecraft data automatically by going Windows R, App Data, Minecraft, saves. And the new word that I selected, let's say new word 2, data pack, example data delete, control V. Now to take to take action, all I have to do is just type reload. Like in any server, reload. And it usually reloads things fast. And hey, oh, this works. That's just good news. Let's remove it, and it's gone. Oh, that's amazing. It kills the sheep fast also. <laughs> I'm happy for that. So that is good news. It works and functions 100%. Now, you see, as we drop the sword, no more effects we get. We get the sword. You get the effect. So that's good news. Now, that shows the idea that our data pack works and functions 100%. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I'll, I hope you even learned how to change the take dash load values. And what is the MC function? I'm gonna reset again at the end. The MC function, it's like the Minecraft commands, but in the specific details. It's just seriously in, like dash give or execute. Later on, I'm gonna teach you how to use execute in more details. This is it for today. See you in the next one. Goodbye.